something and I've been smoking too much weed lately and I've been doing it during the day when I really shouldn't be because I need to get shit done and I can't be sitting here worried about where the fuck I'm gonna be going you know what I'm saying so here's what you got to do and I tried this today on accident because I was about to smoke a bowl and I dropped my shit on my laptop. And there was a big puddle on my laptop of bong water. <laughs> that shit smelled so bad. And I thought my computer was toast. But it wasn't. I was able to save it. And, oh wait, holy shit. The whole point was, is that I wasn't able to smoke. So I went the entire day without smoking. And I went and played basketball. I felt great after came home and I played with the kids, felt great after. And then I connected with my wife and I felt great after. And then I was just like, hmm, well I can't fall asleep yet. So what I'm gonna do is go downstairs and I'm gonna create some shit. And that's what I did and I felt good. So it's not only a way of getting rid of your guilty conscience while smoking, by not doing it during a day and waiting until you find an optimal time, you know, a time when you feel like you deserve it, when you get rewarded. And in a way, you're rewarding yourself, you're giving yourself an extra dopamine kick, you're giving yourself an extra, like, positivity and just good vibe kick by allowing yourself to fully enjoy the moment. Because how many times have you smoked during the day when you, or wake and bake, We've all done it. Or exactly when it hits 420 because I know I'm hitting that shit at 420 no matter what. <laughs> no, I'm not saying every single day. I'm saying if I see that I'm in the general vicinity, you know, like maybe 15, 20 minutes away and around 420, then I hit that shit. But we've all been there. And so when we're not doing it, or when we're doing it, when we're not supposed to be, when we're supposed to be productive, we feel guilty, 
you feel a little bit off, you feel like you might actually sabotage your own high in some weird way, your brain does that shit. And I think it's true that when you're actually doing it, when you feel like you can fully immerse yourself in it with no, no boundaries, a little bit of a self-love thing, then that is the best kind of high. And that's what I'm feeling right now. And that shit feels superb, superb. And the thing is, is you can actually feel like you're high when you're not smoking too, because I don't know if there's reserves or some shit in your body, but when you include breathing exercises while you're high, the meditation part, then you're able to actually kind of trick your brain, but it's more about training. It's kind of like you're just training your brain, you're exercising your brain to then believe in those same feelings, those same vibes, when you do those same breathing exercises when you're not smoking. So in a small way, it's your, oh shit, wait, where was I going? Oh yeah, it's your body reacting to that trigger of doing your breathing, which is associated with all those awesome times when you were high. So then it becomes a nice little meditation, an extra powerful meditation kick throughout the day. The end. Good night, everybody. All right, you see this right here? This is a proper stony stone lunch right here. What we have is kimchi, granola, regular potato chips, pepperoncinis, some of them damn Vienna sausages that taste so bomb, sauerkraut, we got some Greek, we got some Greek pasta up in there too. And what I'm doing here is going down a flavor saver highway because this right here are all the best flavors. See, what you got to do is you take some of the sauerkraut right here and you mix it with the granola. No. Actually, what you do is you take the sauerkraut first and then you wash it down with some granola and what happens is, is your, your sensories, your little receptors, they're all like, oh, we got some sour, and we got some kraut. And I don't know what's coming next, but oh shit, there's some of that sweet that we love so much. And it just goes smooth. It's like the flavor just kind of goes right over your tongue, straight down. This is ridiculous. Look at this fucking lunch. Oh my god, this is so wrong. No, 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 no. I know why I did this. It's called, officially, the scientific term is called flavor dispersion technique with matek, with food science. Flavors, textures of multiple varieties all together because it's called food exploration, bitch. And that's what this world is all about. Yeah.